Hey everybody, Technically Jeff here, and today I have another EV charger review for you from the company Shockflow. You'll remember I reviewed their portable EV charger previously. Well, today I'll be reviewing their new smart home EV charger. So we'll go ahead and get it unboxed and look at everything up close, and then we'll test it out. So we'll go ahead and get it out of the packaging here. It is packaged well. We have the manual and hardware and some RFID cards so you can limit access if you want. Then we have the cables and the J1772 connector. And it looks good. It has a dust cap and feels good quality and it functions as it should. Now let's take everything out. Taking a look at the NEMA 1450 plug, it looks good, but it definitely has a shorter cable here, so you need to make sure you have it mounted very close to the outlet. Then for the main unit, it looks good. We have the mounting bracket on the back already. There's an emergency stop button, a built-in mounting point for the J1772 connectors on the side here, which I like. Then we have the information label here with various details about the device. But yeah, I really like this design. I think it's a very attractive charger. Now let's measure the cables. I'm getting 21 millimeters on the side that goes to the car. And I get 25 millimeters on the plug cable, which is one of the thickest I've seen. Now let's go ahead and get it set up. So it comes with hardware to mount the bracket on the wall, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use a couple wood screws for this demonstration. Again, you wanna make sure it's very close to the outlet with that very short input cable. Then we'll plug it in. And we're good to go. Now we'll go ahead and connect it to the app. We'll allow the permissions and set up an account. Then we'll add the charging station. You put in your Wi-Fi credentials, and there we go. Here you can see various aspects of the charger, set the current. Remember plugged in, you should really do no more than 40 amps, so it's 80% load on a 50 amp circuit. And there are various settings here. There's also a full PDF of the manual, which is good to have at your fingertips. You can set it to charge when you plug it in. You can share it with another user with the email. And it looks good. You can set up scheduled charging here too and set it to repeat on whatever days you like.
and it's very easy to use. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see how it does. The connector is a good fit there. The light on the charger switched to green. And the car said charging started, so that's a good sign. And we are charging at nine and a half kilowatts, which is right where we should be at 40 amps. And I'll go ahead and refresh the app here. Now it shows we are pulling 38.9 amps, which is good with it set at 40 amps. The connector looks good and it's a nice and tight fit. And overall, everything looks good. I'll go ahead and let it charge now for about an hour, and we will see how it does. First though, I'll show you the wiring information on the cables. This has 8 gauge main wiring, which is good for this amperage. And again, it has that nice thick insulation. It is a shorter 17 foot cable, but in reality, that's probably long enough for most people. And now it's been charging for about an hour, and I haven't seen the speeds drop at all, which is good. You'll remember vehicles like my EV6, if it gets too hot from charging, it will throttle the speeds. Checking in the car, it's still showing 9.5 kilowatts. And the temperatures at the charge part are only around 165 degrees, so that's good. The throttling typically happens when it's well over 210 degrees, so that's definitely good to see. Even at lower amperages, I've had my charging speeds throttled. So at 40 amps after an hour, this is great. The J1772 connector doesn't even feel the slightest bit warm. And the plug on the wall doesn't feel warm either. Both very good signs. So overall, I'm definitely liking it. It looks great and it seems to work very well. I'll go ahead and show you how the J1772 connector mounts to the charger here. Nice and out of the way on the side. And actually with the temp so low, I'm gonna go ahead and set it to 48 amps and we'll see how it does. I definitely don't recommend doing this, but I'm just gonna test it out. And you can see the light change to green again, so it is charging. Looking in the car, it's showing 11.4 kilowatts, which is about right for 48 amps. And almost immediately after plugging in, I heard the fans kick on and the vents in the grill opened up for cooling.
But yeah, I'll let it charge for a little while and we'll see how it does. All right, it's been about 40 minutes since I switched it from 40 amps to 48 amps. The plug feels slightly warm, but not very warm at all. The app shows the charger is 114 degrees, which definitely isn't bad at all. It's about 75 degrees outside today. The J1772 connector still doesn't feel warm at all. And looking at car scanner, the charge port temps are coming in at 208 degrees. So that's definitely warmer, but it's not hot enough to trigger throttling, which is very interesting. Like I said, on my juice box 40, I can't have it over 35 amps for more than 45 minutes or so without it throttling the speed. So that's good. I think this is a, a very solid unit and pricing isn't bad either. You can get it on Amazon with varying sales that they have running, or you can get it from their website for the best price that I've seen. It's currently $4.89 for the 48 amp version with free shipping. Then if you use promo code TechJeff, it drops it another 10% to $4.40. And if you get the 40 amp version, which I'd probably recommend, it's right around $400. And you get a decent amount for that price. It's an attractive charger with smart functionality, RFID cards for limited access, that easy to use app, scheduled charging. There's lots of protections in place. While this isn't a UL certified unit yet, it is Energy Star certified, which is a plus and it feels good quality and it works well. So anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions on this. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. I have a lot coming. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.